Hi, welcome to our Telehealth video information series. I'm Garvin. And this video is on Roactemra. So Roactemra, or the chemical Tocilizumab, is a type of drug called a biological therapy. In some conditions, too much of a protein called IL-6 is produced in the body, leading to tiredness, anemia, inflammation, and damage to the bones, cartilage, and other tissues. Tocilizumab blocks the action of IL-6, reducing these effects. Tocilizumab isn't a painkiller, but can modify the disease over a longer period. It may be 2 to 12 weeks before you notice an improvement. Tocilizumab can be prescribed by a rheumatologist for rheumatoid arthritis or juvenile idiopathic arthritis. So, Roacterma, what is it used for? It's used for moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis. Roacterma is used for rheumatoid arthritis that has not responded adequately to treatment with DMARDs such as sulfasalazine and methotrexate. It can be used in combination with methotrexate or on its own for people who cannot take methotrexate. And how does it work? Roacterma infusion contains the active ingredient, tocilizumab, which is a type of a medicine called a monoclonal antibody. It works by suppressing part of the immune system and modifying the process of inflammation. So tocilizumab works in a similar way to natural antibodies produced by our immune system. Our natural antibodies recognize foreign invaders and bind to them, helping our immune systems to attack them and protect us from infections. Monoclonal antibodies like tocilizumab are made in laboratories and are designed to recognize particular protein in a similar way. Tocilizumab specifically recognizes and binds to a protein produced by the body called interleukin-6. This protein is involved in causing inflammation and is found at high levels in people with rheumatoid arthritis. By preventing the action of interleukin-6, tocilizumab reduces the inflammation and other symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. It improves physical function of the joints and reduces the rate of joint damage. When treating arthritis, tocilizumab is referred to as a disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drug, or DMARD. Tocilizumab is only given under supervision of specialists in arthritis. It is given as a drip into a vein or into venous infusion over a period of one hour. This is repeated every four weeks. So it's not to be used if somebody has active tuberculosis, people with severe active infections, abscesses and sepsises, and opportunistic infections. This medicine is not recommended for children and adolescents under 18 years of age. This medicine should not be used if you are allergic to any of its ingredients, so please inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have previously experienced such an allergy. And regarding pregnancy and breastfeeding, there is no information about the safety of this medicine during pregnancy. It is not recommended for use during pregnancy unless considered absolutely essential by your doctor. Women who could get pregnant should use effective contraception to avoid pregnancy during treatment and for at least three months after the last treatment. It is not known whether this medicine passes into breast milk. Women should not breastfeed during treatment with this medicine or for three months after the last dose. So the side effects, common side effects include upper respiratory tract infections such as cough and cold, inflammation of the nose and throat, raised cholesterol levels, high blood pressure, headache, dizziness, infection in the tissues under the skin, pneumonia, cold sores, shingles, inflammation of the stomach or gastritis, abdominal pain, mouth ulcers and conjunctivitis. How can this medicine affect other medicines? Tocilizumab may decrease the blood levels of the following medicines. Atorvastatin, benzodiazepines such as tamazepam, diazepam, calcium channel blockers such as verapamil, cyclosporin, phenytoin, theophylline and warfarin. 
This medicine may decrease the body's immune response and this means that vaccines may potentially be less effective if given during treatment and live vaccines may cause serious infections. So live vaccines include measles, mumps, rubella, MMR, oral polio, oral typhoid and yellow fever. It is recommended that live vaccines are not given to people being treated with this medicine. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me through the website mytelehealth.info or call into Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork, 021 Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.